Recording in progress. Uh, shalom, shalom, Pastor, shalom, Brad Colin. Shalom, 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 everyone. Oh, it's only us three. Shalom, everyone. <laughs> What do you think what? of it?
שלום, שלום. שלום, שלום. שלום, פרסם. ברדה קולני, let us pray our heavenly father our father art in heaven the great i am the creator of heaven and earth the alpha and the omega we come before you this evening we say thank you Abayawa, in the mighty name of yeshua we say thank you Abayawa, for the day that you have given us we say thank you Abayawa. Abayawa, as i bring your as i bring my brethren your children into prayer of agreement this evening ask you Abayawe, to forgive me for my transgressions forgive me for harboring thoughts that are not of you forgive me Abayawe, for defiling this temple for where the holy spirit dwells forgive me Abayawe, for uh, for the words that i've uttered that have become curses unto others Abayawe. forgive me Abayawe, for all the wrongs that i've done knowingly or not, knowingly and unknowingly Abayawe. I make a conscious decision Abayawe, this evening that I forgive those who have transgressed against me for my transgressions Abaya, will be uh, when they come before you Abaya, you will not be able to hear my prayer. Abaya, in this evening as I bring my brethren to, into a prayer of agreement Abaya, we ask of you Abaya, to forgive us of all our transgressions, forgive all the wrongs that we have committed Abaya, for failure to confess our sins are by unto you, by Yahweh. You will not be able to hear us, Abaya. And thus we stand in the promise of saying that if we confess unto you all our, uh, if you confess and pray and give everything unto you, Abaya, you shall be able to blot out all our transgressions, Abaya, and you will not be able to, uh, you, know, you will not remember any transgression before you, Abaya. So in thus we stand before in this promise. We say thank you, Abaya, for your love and your mercies upon us, Abaya. As we have gathered as in the meeting of the saints this evening, Abayawe, uh, going to the book of Acts, revealing your teachings, revealing your love, revealing further instructions, Abayawe, revealing your will, Abayawe, that we need to live by. We ask of you, Abayawe, to open up our hearts and our minds in this evening. As we said, Abayawe, for those who have got ears, let them listen. For those who have got eyes, let them see. Let's see and hear things of the spirit, your spirit, Abba Yahweh. May your will take charge and take control, Abba Yahweh, and that we be able to live in your will and do things based on your will, not our will, Abba Yahweh. You are not moved by our desperation, Abba Yahweh, for your word that goes out never returns to you without uh, doing what it's supposed to do, Abba Yahweh. In this evening, Abba Yahweh, we say thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love, Abba Yahweh. Thank you for this opportunity as, as brethren that we're meeting to go through this book of Acts. Open up your eye, uh, open up your, your love upon us, Abaya. Be with our shepherd, Pastor Washington Abaya, who's going to be able to go through this, the, the scriptures, Abaya, and part words of life, levels of words of exhortation and words of comfort, Abaya. We say thank you, Abaya, for the grace that you've given us and your love. In the mighty name of Yeshua, our Messiah, we pray. So be it. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, brethren. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, brethren. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, we... We are live on um, Facebook on um, Yahweh is Apple, and we are also live on uh, Kingdom Principle Ministry of Yahweh. Um, we thank Yahweh for this opportunity that um, is before us where we can learn his word. Um, before we start, I would just like us to 
go through what we, we learned yesterday. Is there anyone who still remember the things that we learned yesterday? Anyone? What are the things that we, we picked up yesterday that were of, of importance to us as we are a year on the journey of learning? Um, shalom, Pastor. One of the biggest things that, uh, that comes out here is that um, the people, um, uh, the people, let me just say, the people were, some were ready to receive uh, the teachings of the Messiah. Some were not ready. And uh, Paul and Silas being, uh, being, being truthful in carrying out in the mission, that they going out to preach and making disciples, they were met with great um, obstacles of almost being killed, of uh, almost being jailed, uh, almost being persecuted uh, in various ways. And that him being uh, truthful and, uh, and uh, truthful and, and within in faith, he was able to go from town to town. And his so-called uh, escapes that we can say, yeah, we can say his escapades were not uh, so escapades, but were also um, moves of getting into other cities and towns and being able to preach. So for me here, it is though through persecution, you'll get elevation and through faith, you'll be elevated. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yes. We, we saw the persecution of Paul uh, was actually uh, made him be able to to go along to 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 preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Um, today we will actually uh, come to the realization that because of those persecution, Paul um, actually then said, "Okay, I've heard it. I'm now going to only." Uh, preach to the gospel, to the gospel to the Gentiles. So we can see that because of, of the persecution, it opened a way for the Gentiles to actually be the ones that were receiving the, 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 the gospel. And uh, what does it show us today what it shows us today is that um, regardless of the situation, how bad it might appear, that will be actually to, to do the will of, of, of Abba Yah. And the will of Abba Yah uh, for Paul was to actually go and preach the gospel. It was to go and to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. And was that will achieved? Yes. And if you look at um, the way the, these people were dealing with, with Paul, was every time they hear that Paul is now preaching there, they would go and it disrupt. Uh, we, we saw there was Timothy. Uh, Timothy was not uh, treated the same way as Paul was treated. Timothy would be allowed to go and preach and do all sorts of things. But when it came to Paul, it was a different story altogether. To the point that Paul was now running away, going to other areas, 
And by so doing, it was fulfilling the 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 the, 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 the requirement that was put before him by Abaya. Today we are gonna read about his moving again to other areas. Um, and we thank Yahweh that we, we are able to follow this. We are gonna read from one, from one to five, um, we have got uh, uh, we should not be shocked when we see people today who choose to follow doctrine instead of following Yeshua. Yes, that is another another point. People were were interested in following doctrine rather than following Yeshua. That is, that is so true. That is so true. Um, so brethren, I don't know what has happened to Sister Emily. I'm here, Pastor. Oh, because he, I was checking and I could not see you. I'm sorry, I ran out of that. I was not aware that my data is finished. We're having a low shedding. Can you hear me, Pastor? Yes, I can hear you. Um, okay. Can you just sing one song for us and then we can start? Okay. Did you guys open in prayer? Yes. Okay. You are faithful, Yahweh. You are faithful. Yahweh, every day and every hour, you are faithful, Yahweh, you are faithful, you are faithful, Yahweh. You are faithful, Yahweh, every day and every hour. You are faithful, Yahweh, with him begging, with him begging, Yahweh. We tembegile Yahweh Gamalanga Namalanga We tembegile Yahweh We tembegile We tembegile Yahweh Wetembegile Yahweh Gamalanga Lamalanga Wetembegile Yahweh Wetembegile Wetembegile Yahweh, we tembegile, Yahweh, Namalanga, Namalanga, we tembegile, Yahweh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So, brethren, we are starting from uh, Acts 18, verse 1 to 4. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Acts 18, from verse 1 to verse 4, it read as follows. Um, and after these things, departing from Athens, 
Paul came to Corinth and finding a certain Jew by the name of Aquila of Pontus by, by race, having recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome, he came to them. And because he was of the same trade, and he reasoned in the synagogue on every Sabbath, persuading both Jews and the pagans. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. As we see that Paul then moved away from, uh, as he was moving from place to place, yeah, he, uh, he left Athens and uh, went to Corinth. And uh, there you found a certain man called Aquila, who was also a tent maker, just like Paul. And him and his wife, Priscilla, they would go every Sabbath and the reason to both the Jews and the pagans. These people were actually going like they were evangelizing in the synagogues where the Jews were. So you can see that the Jews were doing something, but it was not in accordance to the gospel that was being preached by Paul and the new, the new dispensation. So my brothers, it is those that were staying in the congregations whom uh, people like Aquila and Priscilla would go for people like Paul will go for to preach to them of the new thing because they were relying on the old things. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we are going to continue. Thank you, Pastor. We are going to continue from verse 5 and it read as follows. Uh, Pastor, verse 5 to verse 7. Verse 5 to verse 9. Okay. And when Paul, Silas, and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul uh, felt he was not free to speak because the, Jew, the Jews oppressed him and blasphemed, blasphemed as he earnestly testified that Yeshua is the Messiah. So he, having shaken his garments, he said to them, your blood, be on your, your blood be on your head. I am pure from it. From now on, I will go to the nations. And moving from there, he went into the house of one, Titus by the name, one worshiping Yahweh, whose house was next door to the synagogue. And uh, Cyprus, uh, uh, Crispus, the synagogue ruler, believed in our master along with all his house. And hearing many of the Corinthians believed and were baptized. And the master said to Paul through a vision in the night, do not fear but speak and do not keep silent. Hallelujah. 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 So you see, the main opponent of Paul were none other than the Jews. Because when he went, when he went uh, to Corinth, he found out that it was the same Jews that were oppressing him. Why were they oppressing him? Because he was testifying about the Messiah, Yeshua. So you can see that these people did not want to hear anything about the Messiah, but they were Jews. We see from verse, uh, from chapter, uh, um, chapter 9, you find the way they were resistant to the preaching of the Messiah. Until now, it was actually their business to make sure that 
Paul does not preach in their in their synagogues because they would oppress him. They would blaspheme, blaspheming Yahweh simply because they were not interested in listening to what Paul was saying. And um, this was Yahweh's will because in the scriptures it says the gospel was given to the Gentiles to provoke jealousy to the Jews. And this was only going to happen if there was someone who would actually go and preach to the Gentiles. And we see that even Paul was really fed up. And uh, verse 6 says, so he having shaken his garment, he said to them, your blood be on your head. I am pure from it. From now on, I will go to the nations. And uh, this is the move that Paul did. He started going to preach and he went to the house of one Gentile, Titus, by name, one worshiping Yahweh, whose house was next to the synagogue. And we can see that he went and even to the, the synagogue ruler, and the synagogue ruler believed in the master Yeshua along with all his family. And uh, this is the starting of the door to door. This is the starting of the, 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 the home churches where people were now meeting in their homes and uh, preaching and uh, sharing and um, some people were converted and were baptized uh, from the house to house, not from, from the, 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 the congregation. Because we can see here on verse 8, and Crispus, the synagogue ruler, believed in our master along with all his house, and hearing many of the Corinthians believed and were baptized. And the master said to Paul, through a vision in the night, do not fear, but speak and do not keep silent. So we can see now the order was now given that he should carry on preaching to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Verse 10. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Brethren, uh, the platform is open. Is there any question or contribution? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to continue from verse 10 and it read as follows. Hallelujah. Because I am with you and no one shall set on you to oppress you because there is much people to me in the city. And he remained it a year and six months teaching the word of Yahweh among them. But Galio being a proconsul of Achaia the Jews rushed against Paul with one passion and led him to the tribunal. Tribunal saying, this one persuade men to worship Elohim contrary to the Torah. But Paul being about to open his mouth, Galio said to the Jewish, if indeed then it was some wrong or wicked criminality, O Jewish, according to reason, I will listen to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see what Paul was accused of by the Jews? Paul was accused for not worshiping Yahweh according to the Torah. 
They wanted people to worship Yahweh in the way the Torah was set up, which did not have the Messiah. And they even went, these Jews, to the tribunal to actually send them to be judged. But because Yahweh, Yeshua had already told Paul that he was going to be with him, Galio said to the Jews, Galio, who was the one who was supposed to sit in this tribunal, he said, if indeed then it was wrong, something wrong or wicked criminality, or Jews according to reason, I would listen. Galio would not listen. You would not listen to what the Jews were accusing Paul. Even today we see there's a lot of people that would rather follow the Torah of the Jews, the Torah of Moses, rather than following the teaching of our Messiah. And our Messiah said that the one who loves me shall follow my commandments. He did not say the one who loves me shall follow Moses' commandment. So my brothers and sisters, we can see the Jews that were familiarized with the Torah of Moses. They could not understand the grace that Paul was preaching. They could not understand the kingdom of heaven that Paul was preaching. And hence, they wanted to destroy him, to silence him. But Yeshua was with Paul. They could not silence him. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Uh, we are going to continue, brethren, if there's no question or any contribution. Brother Golan, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Uh, my heart just sank. Um, so, uh, can we say that the Pharisees and the Jews are of the same kind? It just happened that one was in another corner of the land and then they called him a Pharisee and the other one was called a Jew because they're on the other side of the land. Because no, the, this is the very the, same the, the thing. Pharisee, the Pharisees were the Jews. I, Paul was a Pharisee. Right. Yes. Uh, the Pharisees were the people, the Jews that were reading the law that's why at one point said, Paul said, I am a Pharisee. I am a, a one from the tribe of Benjamin. It, it is, he went to school to learn. It is like the Pharisees were the theologians of the Jews of the time. Mm. But there were, some of them were actually Jews. But it was the, 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 the teachers of the law. Those were the ones that were teaching the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brad Kalani. Uh, we are going to continue, brethren, from um, verse 15, the book of Acts chapter 18, and it read this for us. Hallelujah. <clears throat> But if it is a question about the weight and names and your Torah, you will see to it yourself. For I do not wish to be judged of these things. And he drove them from the uh, tribunal. And all the heathen having sized sustenance, the ruler of the synagogue, they beat him before the tribunal. And not one of these things ma mattered to Galio. Hallelujah. Oh, okay, Pastor, please scroll up. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, uh, it's oh, it's up. You can't see oh. it. Oh, no, I see it. Sorry, I was on the other screen. I don't know. 
And no one of these things mattered to Galia. And having remained many days more, having taken leave of the brothers, Paul sailed to Syria, to, uh, sailed to Syria, having shaved his head in Kenchiria, for he had vowed a vow, and Priscilla and Aquila were with him. And he came to Ephesus, and he left those there, but he going into the synagogue, he reasoned with the Jews. Hallelujah. 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 So we see here the ruler actually said to them, Gallio said to them, but if it is a question about words and names and your Torah, you will see to it yourselves. For I do not wish to be a judge of this thing. The Gallio refused to judge the things that he did not know much about. And to him, it did not make sense that they did not want to hear the name of Yeshua. And they were saying the Torah has been perverted by Paul. Even today, there are people who are actually seeing Paul as letters were against the Torah, just like the previous Jews were also saying the same thing. And now this gentleman, Gallio, said, no, he is not going to be part of it. And he drove them from the tribunal. Now, verse 17, it tells us what they then did to the ruler of the of the synagogue. Do you remember this ruler of the synagogue is the one that is mentioned um, that him and all his family, they um, believed and they were baptized. And uh, this ruler of the synagogue was then sized by the Jews and then they beat him up. Why? Because this ruler of the synagogue was agreeing with Paul. Verse 17, and all the heathen having sized Sotens, the ruler of the synagogue, they beat him before the tribunal. And not one of these things matter to Galio. And having remained many days more, having taken leave of the brothers, Paul sailed to Syria and having shaved his head, because Paul had a Nazarene vow which he had kept his hair unsh unshaven until the time when that period was over. That's why he then shaved his head. And um, these are the vows that he was, that are being mentioned about here, the Nazarene vows that Paul has taken, had taken. And Priscilla and Aquila were with him and he went to Ephesus. And he left those there. But going into synagogues, he reasoned with the Jews. So you find his going to the synagogues was not as a result of going there and listening to the Jews preaching. No, it was to go there and teach them the truth. That is the same thing with Yeshua. Yeshua going to the synagogues was not for him to be part of the service. He was going there to teach them, to reason with them, to tell them, to say, look here, you are believing in this, but it is supposed to be like this. And when people hear this, they say, no, Paul was attending Sabbath in every 
No, Paul was going there to evangelize because that is where the people were. So my brothers and sisters, we should understand Paul's going to the synagogue was for a reason to teach the Jews. That's why they were not accepting. That's why at times there would be arguments which ended them actually wanting to beat up Paul. So these are the things that happens. These are the things that we know uh, when you are doing the will of the Father. Not Paul was not going to these synagogues to get money, that whenever he preaches, he get money. No, they were not giving him any money because he was bringing in the gospel they did not want. So there was never a time Paul would go there and then they will go there and accept him. Some, you remember, in the previous chapters, they actually said, uh, we shall call you, don't call us. And all this is because Paul was going there to preach. Now, when you go to these synagogues, when you go to these churches, are you going to attend the church or you're going to preach? When you hear these things that are said on the TVs, those who, who worship G.O.D., are you going there to reason with them about the scriptures or you are going to attend as a follower? Those uh, gospel TV that you go and listen every day, are you doing it to go and teach there as Paul or you are going to listen? If you are going to listen, my brothers and sisters, that means you are part and parcel of whatever is being said. If they are calling upon G.O.D., you are part of those that are G.O.D. Because there is no way you can get anything spiritual from people who are not spiritual. Paul said only those that have the spirit of Yahweh in them can perceive the things of the spirit. Paul was going to the synagogue because he knew that they did not have the spirit of Yahweh. So he was going there to reason with them, to let them know the truth. And some of them ended up being angry because they didn't want to know the truth. And there's some of them, they even wanted to kill him. So we need to understand, my brothers, when we talk, take a short left to, to these churches, what is our reason? Are we going there to reason with them, to teach them? Or we are going there to be part of them? If we are part of them, Romans 1, Verse 32 says, not only do they do them, but also those who associate with those who do them, they shall face the same punishment. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. Um, Brad Colonna, I saw your hand was up. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, I was just see, seeing another same uh, uh, scenario taking place when um, Sonathians was beaten and uh, Gallio also has had nothing to do uh, with him. So I'm kind of reminded about what uh, Pontius Pilate did to Yahshua. It was the same as uh, that, you know, at bringing Yahshua for him, uh, towards him, so that he had said, uh, saying that he had... Um, uh, committed crimes. So now um, Pilate also found nothing. And in this case, here's another Pilate who says he sees nothing and he doesn't want to get involved. And same scenario. So the, the whole persecution is the same. Uh, the only thing is just that no one was hung on this one. <laughs> shalom. 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 Thank you. Uh, we are going to continue, brethren. Pastor, but is it wrong if I say we all have spirit, but it depends uh, which spirit, 
whose spirit is, is in you? Because uh, if I go, Pastor? You, you are very right. Because uh, everyone in the world, yes. every human being has got one or the other. Yes. So yes, either you have the spirit of Yahweh or you, are, you have the spirit of the world, which is the spirit of Saturn. And the spirit of Yahweh is only for those that have the spirit of Yahweh that can perceive the things of the spirit. Hallelujah. So when we are talking about the spirit of Yahweh, it is only those that have Yahweh, that have accepted Yahweh, those are the ones that can perceive these things of the spirit of Yahweh. Hallelujah. And the ones that are in the world, they perceive the spirit of the things of the world. Like you find people who, who might claim to be believers, but yes. they, they have the spirit of, of jealousy. Mm. That is a spirit. Is it okay. of Yahweh? No. Mm. A spirit of haughtiness. That's a spirit. A spirit of hurt. A spirit of anger, a spirit of disobedience, a Hallelujah. spirit of all these spirits, they are with people. The spirit of arguments. There are people who are so argumentative. That's a spirit. And they hate lust. And the love of money, all those are spirits. So everyone who is living has got one spirit either of the world or one spirit of Yahweh, which is love, joy, forgiveness, and all that. And if you call yourself that you are a believer, but you cannot forgive, then obvious the spirit that is operating in you is not of Yahweh because the spirit of Yahweh forgives. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. So it's important to test the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 We need to, to examine ourselves and say, what spirit is it that I am keeping day and night? Gossiping is a spirit. Yes. And it is not of Yahweh. Malice is a spirit. It's not of Yahweh. Mm. So let's look into ourselves and see what spirit do we have? And then we can make arrangements to get it kicked out if we don't like it. But most people, they don't want this spirit. They, they, they love this spirit. The spirit of anger, someone will keep it because he, he says that people will may not mess around with him because they know who he is. So okay. they will not want that, that spirit to be cast out. But they don't know that once you have that spirit in you, as part of you, the spirit of Yahweh is a gentle spirit. It will live because it cannot live in a house that is already contaminated. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Uh, brethren, we are going to continue from verse, um, verse 20, the book of Acts chapter 18. And it read this follows, hallelujah. <clears throat> and they asking him to remain over a longer time with them, but he did not agree, but took leave of them, saying, I must by all means keep the coming feast, as is my custom at Jerusalem, but I will come again to you, Elohim willing. And he sailed from um, Ephesus and landing at Caesarea, Having gone up and greeted the congregation, he went down to Antioch and spending some time, he went out in order, passing through the Galatian and the Pragian country, making a strong all the disciples, but a certain Jew named Apollos and Exaldrian by birth, an eloquent man came to Ephesus being powerful in scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers, we had 
um, Paul was asked to remain longer, but he did not agree. Why? He took leave of them saying, I must, must by all means keep the coming feast as, as my custom at Jerusalem. This was not a custom that was put uh, by anyone. It was a custom, his own custom, that he had designed that the feast he wanted them to be in Jerusalem. And it, he said, but I will come again to you, Elohim willing. And he sailed to Ephesus. Did he go to Jerusalem? No, he went to Ephesus because to Jerusalem was just a custom that he was used to doing. And landing in Caesarea, having gone up and greeted the congregation, you went down to Antioch. And spending some time, he went out in order passing through Galatia and uh, Phrygian countries, making strong all the disciples. So he went, he was preaching to them, he was encouraging them, he was, you know, edifying, exaltation, comfort, and correcting in love. But a certain Jew, Apollos, and an Alexandrian by birth, and eloquent men came to Ephesus, being powerful in the scripture. Now we are seeing Apollos now, who also had very much understanding of the scriptures. He also came to Ephesus where Paul was. So let's see here what happened then. Um, page five. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor. We are going to continue from 25. It just follows. Hallelujah. This one, having been taught by mouth in the way of the master and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things about Yeshua, but he only understood the baptism of John. And this one began to speak boldly in the synagogue. And hearing him, Priscilla and Aquila took him to their home and more accurately expounded the way of Yeshua to him. And when he was disposed to go to Achaia, the brethren anticipated him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. And by going through grace, he greatly assisted all them, all them that believed, for he, he powerfully confuted the Jews publicly proving through the scripture, Yeshua to be the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see this guy now, Apollos, when he went, he had read, <laughs> but his limitation was, he had just gone just as far as the baptism of John. The John's baptism, that's where he was you would stand there. And now, what happened? Priscilla and Aquila, when they heard him preaching, they saw the lack of the other part. Then they took him to, his, to their home and accurately expounded the way of Yeshua to him. Accurately. That means he was just speaking, but not actually knowing exactly. So Priscilla and Aquila had to bring him into their home and then explain things accurately regarding Yeshua. And this is another funny thing. We hear hearing him, Priscilla and Aquila took him to their house. That means these two people were a tag team. 
they were working together in the ministry of, Yah, of, of, of Yeshua. They were together. They were mentioned together. And now my brothers and sisters, you hear people saying, no, women are not supposed to. But when you actually look at the way it is written, they started off with Priscilla and Aquila. Who was the husband? It was Aquila. But it looks like Priscilla found out and they told his husband and uh, her husband and the husband then took this guy into the house to explain to him. Women have the same spirit, the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit as men. Women, they don't receive the female Holy Spirit. They, because the Holy Spirit is neither man or female. So those who say, no, it's only the men who can. So women, do they have female Holy Spirit? Here we see Priscilla and Aquila took this gentleman and they taught him, Apollos. They taught him about the way of the accurate way of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Verse 27, and when he was disposed to Achai, the brethren anticipated him. This is after he had been accurately expounded the way of Yeshua to him by Priscilla and Aquila. He then started moving from place to place because that part that he did not have, it was filled by Priscilla and. Now my brothers and sisters, we find there are people who believe that they know everything. No, we don't know everything. We need to listen when others are correcting us. When they are correcting us in love, Let's not harden our hearts because if we do, we will not be able to learn and we become resistance to learning. Hallelujah. And we can see now when he went there, the brethren even wrote a letter to the disciple to receive him because they believed in him that this guy, Apollos, this guy who became a brother had known the Messiah. Verse 29, for the powerful confuted the Jews publicly, for he powerfully confuted the the Jews, pub, Jews publicly proving through the scripture Yeshua to be the Messiah. Now this guy was now telling the Jews publicly, he was not mincing his word. He was telling them, look here, you Jews, you are lost. Yeshua is the Messiah. There's no other Messiah. Maybe that's when the Jews decided, ah, okay, let's find another Messiah now. And they and the boom, JC was born. Hallelujah. 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 But this is what happened. My brothers and sisters, our mission is to preach Yeshua. Our mission is to preach grace. Our mission is to preach the coming of the, Mess of the Messiah and that Yeshua is the Messiah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Uh, we thank Yahweh. Here we sing the spirit of humbleness. We sing the spirit of being teachable. Uh, meaning he accepted um, either it was correction and then it was done in love. He accepted it and... Uh, the, but the, I think uh, verse 27 says, through grace, 
he greatly assisted all of them that believed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's because he was humble to accept the correction. So yes. Hallelujah. We thank Yahweh for that. Hallelujah. Uh, Brethren, Pastor, thank you so much. Um, I think this is the end of chapter 18, the book of Acts. Uh, Brethren, the platform is open uh, for any contribution or any questions. Hallelujah. We thank Yahweh. Apollos became uh, the preacher of the good news. So, Pastor, he knew the, 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 the Bible or the, the, the verses. Uh, or he the, knew the Torah. He knew the and, Torah. Uh, he knew up to the baptism of uh, the Sorry. John baptism. And uh, he was then stuck there. But he was, he was really there. He wanted to, to, to preach about the new dispensation, the new uh, uh, period of grace. But he, he had a few things that were holding him back regarding Yeshua. This is when Priscilla and Aquila saw and said, yes, come, we'll teach you then. They did not go to a synagogue to teach him. They did it in know. their own homes. And uh, my brothers, that shows the importance of our homes, that we go into homes and teach one another in homes, not in the synagogues. Because in the synagogues, most of it is arguing, trying to prove who is better than the other. But in our homes, that's why we are supposed to go from house to house. That's why Yeshua said, I come to the door, I knock. If you open, I come in and dine with you. If you don't, I dust my feet. Hallelujah. He did not come and knock at the congregation or the, 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 the temple's doors or anything. He said, I come to your door and I knock if you open. <laughs> And it is from house to house that we need to go and it teach the people about the coming of the Messiah. Hallelujah. 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 Pratolan, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, I can we lost Pratolan. Uh, Pratolan, is there any question or contribution? Hallelujah. Uh, you're welcome, Brad Colani. Mm, Pastor, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah just, I uh, just got disconnected, so <laughs> I, I no, reconnected. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, what I just uh, what I wanted to highlight here is that um, the news of the Messiah traveled faster than what we expected. Paul was going from town to town, the people actually were ready for him as we, as we read. Not only those who were opposing him, but those who were for him and those who were ready to, to receive the word of the Messiah. So as much as we may think that for those of us who are preaching the word of Yahshua, uh, the name of Yahshua, the name of Yahweh. We may think that you're not, it's just only a, you know, a, 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 a Priscilla and, and, and a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Brad uh, experiencing some technical problems. Uh, if there is no contribution, uh, any question, to, uh, we are going to close the platform. Uh, brethren. Hallelujah. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we are continuing with the book of Acts. We're going to continue with chapter 19. Hallelujah. We thank Yahweh, Pastor. Thank you so much. May Yahweh bless you. Um, let us close in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven, Yahweh, our Elohim. Father, we thank you as we come before you in the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah. We thank you for your word this afternoon. 
this night, this morning. Father, I pray that you forgive me for the sins that I've committed through my actions, through my thoughts, even through my, my speech. I pray, Father, that you forgive me in the mighty name of Yeshua, Messiah. Father, your word says, if you do not forgive those who have done us wrong, you, our Elohim, you are not going to forgive us. Right now, make a conscious decision to forgive, Father, those who have done me wrong. And I pray, Father, that you bless them in the mighty name of Yeshua, Messiah. We thank you for your word that reminds us that, Father, we should be teachable. We should be humble at all times. Help us, Father, to remain in you at all times. Help us, Father, to seek your word up by Yahweh. As prayer word says, only those who have the spirit of Yahweh can perceive the things of the spirit. Abayawe, we pray that you guide us in this walk that you have chosen, Abayawe. Father, we submit ourselves to you. We humbly come before you, asking you to guide us, Abayawe, and help us not to walk, Abayawe, by our knowledge. But Father, we always seek your kingdom first above everything. In the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah, Father, we pray for those who are affected by low shedding, Father, we pray that you be with your children, Abayawe. We pray that you be with them wherever they are. And those who couldn't make it on the platform for different reasons, Father, yeah, we pray that you continue to walk before them. We pray your protection upon their lives, Abayawe. We thank you, Father, for being your children here on earth, calling upon your name, Abaya. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah. Father, as you're about to depart on this platform, we pray, Father, that, Father, your Holy Spirit continue to guide us Continue to protect us in the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah. We pray. So be it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be it. Hallelujah. 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 So be it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom, brethren. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, brethren. May Yahweh be with you all in Yeshua's name.